Hey, what is up everyone? It is Jim Too Wavy here. Sorry about that. It is Jim Too Wavy here. And today I am going to be bringing you guys some gameplay of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Uh, before we go ahead and get into this video, I just want to remind everyone to like and subscribe. And be sure to subscribe, that way you can get notified. That way when I post a new video, you will be notified and you won't miss it. So, um, I am pushing for at least 50 likes. So please like if you like this if you watch this video and you like it then give it a thumbs up and I am going to be bringing you guys some gameplay. So without further ado, let's do this. Captain Mitchell, sir, we all think you did a hell of a job down in Mexico City. You followed everything on the Narcom. How you saved President Valentine and then General Martin. And battle at Chapultepec Castle. And how you led our guys into Socolo Plaza and took out the rebels. Well, I'm just honored to drive you, sir. And I'd be honored if you'd just keep your eyes on the road, soldier. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. We've got video incoming. Patching it through. We now have confirmation that President Valentine has touched down in Washington. Both he and President Luis Peña insist the North American Joint Security Agreement will still be signed despite yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico City that was finally put down with the help of U.S. forces. As for the recent outbreak of rebel activity in Honduras, Colombia, and Panama, unnamed U.S. sources now confirm their connection to yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico, raising concern that violence is spreading across the rest of Central America. Reporting live from Panama is Marco Zambrota. In the last 24 hours, the rebel forces here, led by Gabriel Alfaro, have essentially shut down the Panama Canal. U.S. forces have moved into the area amidst widespread reports that the rebels are looting ships and stealing their cargo. There are also rumors that sensitive military gear have been taken, though any connection between events here and in Mexico still remains unclear. Lieutenant Rosen is expecting you at Fort Bliss, Captain. I guess after what went down in Mexico City, it'll be time for a little R&R, &R, huh? Maybe for you, son. Something tells me I'm just getting started. Damn, Captain. How the hell did you make it out of Mexico City? I know you probably want to hit the hay, but General Keating's got another situation going. One that requires the ghosts. So they've asked me to prep you for your next assignment using this battle simulator. Your performance during the simulation will be evaluated with a score given at the end of each phase, so try to treat this as a real combat situation, okay? To start, follow the instructions on your HUD. observe your surroundings and identify all cover positions available before advancing.
exercise. Now take a look at your performance for this section. Okay, Captain, now you'll learn how to identify threats and neutralize them from a distance. For that, you'll use a rifle equipped with a scope. Go to the position indicated on your HUD to get your rifle. Threats can come from anywhere. They could be lurking around a corner or waiting to prey upon you from a rooftop. Your scope will help you identify these threats. Good, Scott. Now take your time and stay focused. have been spotted on the hillside due east of your 20. Reach their position and take them out. Stay frosty, Scott. Try not to be surprised by your enemies. Oh, last thing. You'll be scored on the headshots you make. Good luck. by threats that you can't defeat directly. In this part of the simulation, we will look at stealth techniques for approaching a target without being shot. When there's no cover nearby, you can use smoke grenades to hide your progression. a hostile heavy armor piece. To do this, you'll have to move as close as you can and throw an explosive charge near the vehicle. 
Remember to use available cover and smoke grenades to avoid being hit. it for this exercise. Now check out your performance. Captain, I need you to join your team in the truck. Let's go, Scott. Captain, this is your team. The screen on the left of your HUD is the new Crosscom command interface. It will allow you to give orders to your teammates and control such vehicles, drones, helicopters, and even heavy armored vehicles. We'll work on advanced battle tactics. Your teammates can use two rules of engagement, recon and assault. Let's try these modes in a battle situation. to get in close and take the first shot, giving them a huge advantage over their enemies. Check your fire! Hold your fire! Let's go! Yeah! Then left, Captain! I think you're ready to use your team in a battle situation, so let's go. Okay. Secure the area indicated on your tactical map. An area is considered secured only when no enemies remain in the zone. Last thing, since this exercise is for testing your command skills, do not use your own gun. Try letting your guys do the job. Roger that. Reload. 
Let's go. Moving. Exercise. Let's check out your performance. Yeah, area is clear. In this section, we'll focus on how you communicate and deliver orders to your teammates. Quick responsiveness and team cohesions are keys to success on the battleground, and your time spent here will pay big dividends once the shooting starts. interface can control the new UAV recon drone. This drone will help you locate enemies before they spot you. Thank <laughs> you. 
The drone has detected a rebel soldier, but beware. The drone is within enemy range and can be shot down, so you may want to keep it at a safe altitude. Scott, note that once the drone has marked a soldier, a red intel marker appears to indicate his position. These markers will remain on soldiers as long as the drone is in their vicinity, but be careful. If the drone leaves the area, the intel markers vanish. And remember, the more you use the drone to scan a threat, the more reliable data it will collect. Okay, Scott, you did great. I think that about wraps up the battle sim. I've got General Keating standing by with a mission plan he's developing. He'll fill you in once you're back in the Blackhawk. Mitchell, let me be the first to say you've already done enough for one man, so I don't like the idea of sending you back in. But the fight ain't over. We've still got Buku rebel activity in Chiapas, the Yucatan, Veracruz, and right here across the border in Juarez, which is where I really need your cojones, son. The rebels have kept the U.S., Mexico, and Canada from signing the North American Joint Security Agreement. And now Congress is getting cold feet about us putting down this insurgency. So I do not know where you're going or what you're doing. Understood? What do I know? Our intel says the rebels may already have their hands on some nasty technology. Could be a dirty bomb, maybe biologicals. The only hard intel we have is that they're waiting on additional hardware from Panama. That's why I need you on the ground. You must secure and neutralize that package. Juarez is right on the border with the U.S. They're just too damn close. I can't stress enough the importance of your mission. You'll have some Mexican Army friendlies offering support on this off, Mitchell. For the present, your main objective with these boys will be to punch a hole through the enemy lines. Get into Juarez, son, and get me that package from Panama. I'm not gonna blow sunshine up your ass, Mitchell. Expect heavy resistance. Local intel confirms multiple artillery pieces protecting a rebel position two ticks from your insertion point. I've got Lieutenant Barnes patching through video intel. Hey, Captain. I'll be feeding you intel as it becomes available. Okay, Captain. This video shows the enemy training camp. You can also see two areas where artillery pieces are hidden. Your mission is to locate those artillery pieces and destroy them so we can attack the enemy camp. Let's make it quick. In and out, son. Bienvenidos a Mexico, Scott. I'd ask you to send me a postcard, except you're not officially here. Then I'll bring you back an unofficial bottle of mezcal. With the worm. <laughs> 